Hey y'all, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. I have two Gamo air rifles and they look pretty dang similar, 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 similar. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns for making this video possible. Go check them out guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org www.gatewaytoairguns.org Okay, so these are both Gamo Hunter Extremes. One's a pro, and the other one, I believe, has a, another name added to it. I don't have the box right now. Um, it says Gamo Extreme on it. E-X-T-R, I think, is what it says. Uh, X-T-R. Yeah, Gamo Hunter X-T-R. Does that say extreme? I don't know. Anyways, two gamo guns, both hunters, um, both single shots. You can tell one has the Whisper Fusion technology on the end of it. The other one does not. They're both um, metal barrels, metal and wood construction for the most part, as far as I can tell. They're both great guns. I have done a grip review on the Gamo Hunter Extreme Pro. This one is in 22 caliber. So if you guys wanna find out more about that one and dive a little deeper into it, there is more information there. Um, I have not yet done one on the Gamo Hunter XTR. That one is not 22 caliber. That one is actually in 25. And I've had some questions. So what's the difference in the wallet between the 22 and the 25? It's huge. It is absolutely huge. So I have some, um, I have a canine target down there that I'm going to use to test the wallop of the 22 and the 25. Of course, we're going to shoot it with the 22 first, um, just in case the 25 leaves a dent or something, we can tell um, the difference between the 22 and the 25. So. The crazy thing is about both of these air rifles, I thought this was very interesting. So the 25 Cal, I did a pellet test on it. Its favorite pellets were the JSB Hades, right? No surprise there. But I shot the Hades in the 22 caliber. They were okay. It likes the H&N Sport Barracuda Hunter Extremes. So we'll have the same sort of sort of the Hades have more of a dome these are more of a flat um, top on them so they're a little different but kind of sort of the same pattern but just different manufacturers in each gun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the canine target with the 22 first and then we'll shoot it with the 25. I wish you guys were here to listen because the sound of the wallop is a huge difference but anyways let's start with the 22 so I got my Hades we'll put this guy off to the side. Got my ammo ready. I got my target cam set up. We're just waiting on me. Stop talking and get to shooting, right? Okay. There we go. Ooh, I hit that one a little low. Hmm, interesting. I was actually getting really good groups with this on paper. Maybe we just got a couple bad pellets. Or maybe it's me. There we go. I knew I was going to miss that one. I pulled it. I pulled it to the left. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to go move the camera so we can see the paddles from the side. Lovely. All right, I'm going to go set the camera back up to the front of the target and we're going to check out the 25 cal. 
So this has the Hawk Panorama EV 4 to 12 by 40, an older style Hawk scope, which is still nice. I still do like the Vantage though better. And I've got, of course, the Hades, kind of a beat up looking can. <laughs> the Hades in 25 cal. Oop, didn't hit it spot on. Ah, that's not at all what I expected, guys. Oh, it's, I think it's hitting it too hard. It's just popping it back down. That's my theory. It's not hitting it um, just enough to swing it up. It's, it's going to pop back down. Let me shoot the next one over. Oh, and I missed. Oh, got that one good. Let's try that first one again. It might have just been a balance thing on the targets part because I think the target's at a bit of an angle. There we go. <laughs> it spun that top one around pretty good. Let me go move the camera. Oh yeah. Lovely. What is another way that we can, I mean, so I could find two squirrels and shoot one with the 25 and then shoot one with the 22. Y'all could hear the woodlop, woodlop. But I think the squirrels know that Airgun Angie's in her backyard with her air guns, so let's not go out because it used to be safe, but since it's squirrel season, it's not anymore, so. When squirrel season comes out, we'll go and crawl all over the fence beside her and run right across her target shooting range. But for now, since it is squirrel season, we'll just hide because they're smart. Okay, this is where the real science comes in. We're going to find out which caliber, the 25 or the 22, has a more effective impact on the heart. Heart-shaped candy, that is. All right, I'm gonna cock them both, load them, and then shoot them back to back. All right, 22 first. Which sucker sit up? Let's go for the perp. We'll go for the red one. Red one up top. Oh, right beside it. Okay. Side-by-side -side shots, assuming that I hit one every time. They are kind of small targets. Oh, blasted it. Uh, it definitely left nothing. Okay. Now, the 25. And which one shall I shoot with this guy? Hmm. I will go with the blue one. Blue. First shot. Lovely. Just lovely. Just lovely. And again, because that's fun. I missed again. It would seem. It would seem that I favor the 25. You seem to maybe shoot the guns better that you favor, I don't know. Or it's the other way around, you favor the ones that... I think, I think my stock screws on this one need tightened because I tightened everything up on the 25, but why would I do that on both of the guns? That would just make way too much sense. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. You know, the 25 caliber left a big blue chunk of sucker. When I hit with the 22, I don't see any big chunks left at all. So, what do you guys think about that? And for the last two, 
Oops. Whoa, I already cocked it. Duh, remember that? For the last two, I'm gonna shoot this guy because I want to. Smithereens! Again! I love it, I love it. Okay, I guess, I can hear you guys right now. So what's the difference in velocity with them? I guess I'll have to find out. I'm gonna do the 25 first since it's right here in my hand. Let's see what kind of velocity we're getting with the Hades. We're just gonna keep shooting pellets it likes. With the Hades. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make it so that my lady talks to you guys. Make sure the volume's up. All right, whoops, and here we go. Six hundred ninety four. Six hundred ninety. Six ninety. Six hundred ninety two. Six ninety two. Six hundred ninety three. 693. 689. I was wondering if she was going to say it. Okay, so that one's just under 700 feet per second. That's uh, about 28 foot pounds out of a brake barrel. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's do this again. All right, 22. Seven hundred sixty. Seven sixty. So not quite a hundred foot pounds heavier. I mean, not foot pounds. Not foot pounds. <laughs> Feet per second. Da da. Seven hundred fifty nine. Seven hundred fifty four. Seven hundred sixty four. Okay, that is twenty, about twenty three and a half foot pounds. So twenty three and a half foot pounds out of a twenty two cal, and twenty eight foot pounds out of a twenty five cal brake barrel. That is pretty cool. Now, these are exclusive. You can only get them in one place. I'm not allowed to tell you where that is. <laughs> so, Gamo Hunter Extreme, Gamo Hunter XTR. Um, both of them are great, great pellet guns. I will, if I was asked if which one I would pick, um, you guys know, because you guys know me. I love the 25 caliber. I absolutely love the 25 caliber. So. I'm going to be taking that one to Gamble Squirrel Master Classic, and I'm hoping to get some squirrels with it. I'll also have my bone collector with me, too, because the bone collector has that swarm mag system. Just cock it and shoot, cock it and shoot, cock it and shoot. But for those times when maybe the squirrel's as big as your dog, you might need a 25 cal, right? <laughs> If you guys want to take part in supporting the GTA and Airgun Web, be sure to stop over at patreon.com or um, Airgun Army and join the Officers Club. It's like five bucks a month where that helps us to be able to continue what we're doing what we're doing and be able to accumulate extra products, extra equipment to have more things to show you guys how they operate, how they function, their cons, their pros. All that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to help support the GTA and Airgun Web, please check out those two sites. You can become a Patreon or you can become an officer at Airgun Army. And the thing about Airgun Army, it's super sweet. It's like a social media platform, but it's just air guns. So if you're a true air gunner, you love talking air guns with other air gunners, go join the officers club, go check out Airgun Army and be a part of what GTA and Airgun Web are doing. Thank you all. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. I am Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Gamo. You guys don't just have a good day. That's boring.
That's so boring. Have an awesome one. <laughs> See ya.